In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Edge browser to edit your PDF. Microsoft Edge is available free of charge. If you want to have access to it, you come to Google and you can just type Microsoft Edge. You can just type, on, type it and you can see it over here, Microsoft Edge browser. And you can open it and you just have access to it to download very fast. You can download it, install it on your system and you can go ahead and use it. Now this is on Mac. So let's say I have this PDF. This is a document I have. So you can just right click and come to open with. You can choose any of the versions. Let's say I'm going with this version, Microsoft Edge. And you can just open just like so. And you'll have your PDF document opened. You can see you have access to your PDF document and you can click anywhere and you have the option over here to view the change the view to content view. And you have the highlighter. Okay, you have the highlighter. If you want to use the highlighter to highlight any section, um, you can use it to highlight any section of your text. And you can use it also. You can vary the thickness of the highlighter. Okay, and choose, choose any color of your choice. You can choose any color, vary the, the highlighting thickness and so on. And we have the draw feature. You can draw using any uh, any color of your choice. And using any pencil size of your choice, you can vary the thickness as well of the writer. So you can see, you can vary the thickness. You can go ahead and write anything. And then next we have the eraser. Once you click, you can erase anything of your choice. If you want, you can just, with just one click, you can see you can erase anything. And if you want to add a text to your PDF, you can just select from here and you can just go ahead and add. Welcome to my channel. And you have the option to select all the text. You can change coloration from here and you can increase the size or decrease the size accordingly. And you can increase the text spacing or decrease the text spacing, or you can delete the text at any given point. So it works anywhere. You can just add your text at any given point and you can move it around. And once you're done, you select back and you are now out of that selection. You can select and move it to anywhere of your choice. Next is we have a very fantastic feature called the read aloud. You can just select, click on it. Once you click on uh, play here, it's going to start reading aloud. Engineering, two units, course lecturer, Dr. A. S. Abdurashid session. Now this is how it read perfectly. If you want to edit the voice options, you can click on this. You can change the reader from here. You have different kind of readers, you can have different kind of voice and you can uh, increase the speed. You want to make it fast or you want to make it slow or normal. You can keep it as you so wish. And once you select any different reader, you can just click and it will start reading. Man made structure designed to impound and control the flow. Of I think that's fantastic. So you can do anything of your choice from these more actions, more actions. And you can see you can rotate. You can do web capture. This is another feature that I like most. You can do web capture. You can just select and do web capture. Now you can define the area you want to capture. Assuming you want to capture just this point. And you can see you can copy this to somewhere. Or you can do markup capture or visual search. Let's say we do markup capture. And you can see it has just captured everything. And you're free to write anything from the drawing tool over here. You can use it to write anything of your choice. Okay, whatever you want. And you can erase also with just one click. So this is the beauty of web capture. You can copy and you can save this outside if you are interested. So you can copy this, go back to anywhere you have within your document and you can add this accordingly. So this is web capture. And at the end of it all, you can come over here. You can do fit to width. You can see it has fit to the entire page to the width. And you can zoom in and out from here within your document. You can rotate also the document from this point. And over here, you have the option to change the view to page view. Maybe you want single or double view, double page view. You can see you can have it. So you can show cover page separately if you're interested to show cover page separately. Let's say in this case, I want only one view. And then you can come down here. You can search within the PDF document. You can search any word, for example, dams. And you can see them located at different points. And then you can print if you want, you can print in PDF. You can just define the location and print it, or you can save it or save as if you are interested to save in or save as, and you can use this feature to open it up to the full screen mode and escape to bring it back. You have other options also to choose from. 
Now, this is the, the very basic of how to use this uh, Microsoft Edge to do some very basic editing within your PDF document. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.